folks, Mike Brady here, and this uh, algebra lesson is on writing equations and inequalities. Okay, let's uh, uh, go through some math functions, you guys, so math symbols and phrases that you'll see with that. Okay, equal sign. Okay, so you might see the word is. That if you see the word is in math, that means equal. Obviously, is equal to or equal to, is the same as. Those all mean equal signs, okay? When you see this symbol, this symbol, when it's pointing to the left, uh, that's a less than symbol. So less than uh, or fewer than, you might see either one of those uh, phrases on there, less than or fewer than, okay? This is less than or equal to. So you'll see less than or equal to. You might see the words at most or no more than. That would be this symbol also. So keep that in mind. We're going to have some uh, uh, word problems coming up. So if you see at most or no more than, it would be less than or equal to. Okay, greater than, uh, greater than or more than, uh, greater than or equal to. Okay, so it would be greater than or equal to. So at most, the opposite would be at least. No more than, the opposite would be no less than. Okay? So, all right, let's try some of these. So, write in the, uh, an equation or an inequality. The sum of twice a number r and 3 is, remember is, is means equals, is 11. So, the sum of, sum means plus sign, twice a number r, so that would be 2r, so 2r plus 3 equals 11, okay? The quotient, which is a fraction, which is division, but it's a fraction, the quotient of n and 2, so this would be n over 2, at most, at most is less than or equal to, at most, so n over 2 is less than or equal to 16. A number q is at least 5, so that would be um, uh, greater than or equal to, but at the same time less than 17. So q is going to go in the middle, 5 will be on the left. Now can you see this says q is greater than or equal to 5, okay? So um, it's pointing away from Q, so, so 5 is going to be there. So it's at least 5, but it's less than 17 at the same time. All right. Okay, how about this one? The product of a number 5 and X, that would be 5X, is greater than 19 and no more than 35. So greater than 19. So 5X is going to go in the middle. 19 is going to be over here. And then um, 35 will be on the right. So there it is. 19 is less than 5X which is less than or equal to 35. Okay, you have some of those on your on your homework on this. So check whether the given number is a solution to the equation or the inequality. Okay, so 24 minus 3D equals 9, and they want you to check to see if 5 is the solution to this. So plug in 5 right there. 24 minus 3 times 5, well, 3 times 5 is 15. 24 minus 15, yep. Uh, that equals 9. So so 5 is the solution. So that's what they want you to do. They want you to plug it in uh, to see if it works. How about this one? 5 plus 3x greater than or equal to 22 and they want you to plug in 6 for x right there. Okay, so it's going to be 5 plus 3 times uh, uh, 6 and 3 times 6 is uh, 18 and then uh, 5 plus 18 is 23 and since 23 is greater than or equal to 22 this would be yes. Okay, so you'd be showing this if you're in my class. I'd want to see this work, you guys. I don't want you to just write yes or no. To me, that's just taking the easy way out and you're not doing your work. That would be no work, no credit. So uh, if you're uh, any good math teacher, uh, well, I know good math teachers were, but if you're in a, in a math class, any any math teacher would require you to show your work, just like me. So I'm not punishing you. I'm just doing what, what any good math teacher would do. All right, okay, on this one, they want you to plug in 5 right there. Okay, so 4 times 5. Uh, over 5, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to plug that in. Notice the 5's are going to cancel. Okay, I'm just left with the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 is not less than or equal to 2, so that one's no. Okay? Alright, so solve the equation using, using mental math. Here we go. Y plus 8 equals 15. It's asking you this. What number plus 8 equals 15? 7. 7 plus 8 equals 15. So the 7, uh, Y must be 7. Okay, this one here, this says 8 times what number? 8x means 8 times x, so 8 times what number equals 48? 8 times 6 equals 48. Okay, this is a quotient. Remember, a quotient is a division sign. This says what number, if you divided it by 5, would equal 7? What number divided by 5 equals 7? That would be 35. All right, that's it, you guys. Good, good work today.